Hello, this is Inside the Press Box with Sunil Sundaraj for the Everyday Fan Sports. Uh, today, I'm happy to be speaking with Braden Smith, uh, an upcoming junior at Franklin High School in Franklin, Texas, uh, this September, and a tight end on the varsity football team. Once again, Braden, uh, thank you, you know, said uh, for the opportunity to interview you. Uh, you know, said congrats on your success here in the first two years uh, at Franklin High School. Um, just wanted to ask you, uh, Braden, in terms of preparing for the 2022 season, how everything is going uh, so far? Uh, it's going good right now. We've had summer workouts for the for a few weeks. We've had good numbers show up, and it's looking to be another bright season. That's great. Hey, let, let, let's talk about uh, this uh, this team up, uh, in the 2022 season. Talk about uh, in terms of uh, the senior class, uh, underclassmen, and just what you see uh, in terms of uh, how far this team can go uh, this year in terms of, you know, winning a, a state championship, uh, Braden? Yes, sir. I mean, of course, last year we won the state championship and we're bringing back a lot of experience. This senior class this year is going to be huge to our success. And I mean, we do have a bunch of upperclassmen that are coming up. They're, just, they're going to have to step up, play a role in this year's team. But I mean, right now we're looking great. I think we're just as good. We could be better than we were last year. We're just going to have to see how the pieces fall into place as the season goes along. That's wonderful. Hey, uh, let's talk about you uh, personally, uh, Braden. 6'4", 250, uh, two-time first-team all district. Uh, back in 2020, the newcomer of the year, Padilla Pole uh, Offensive Player of the Year in 2021, sports writer, all-state player, first-time all-Bravos Valley. Those are just, you know, again, outstanding, you know, said uh, accolades. Uh, talk about these first two years, just what it means, you know, to see uh, – how your hard work has really paid off uh, on the field and led again to those accomplishments, Braden. Yes, sir. I mean, one thing is the coaches. We have a great coaching staff at Franklin. And I mean, they've paved the way for our, for me and our other players to have great success. I mean, I'm in a great system, with great coaches. And I mean, another thing, coming into my freshman year, there was great leadership in the upperclassmen that paved the way for me to be a good player. And I mean, I'm just going to try to continue that these next few years and try to be a leader to the underclassmen coming up. A tight end on the team, talk about playing that position, uh, Braden, in terms of, you know, of course you have to be on the same page with, you know, your quarterback, you know, offensive line, running backs, uh, you know, wide receiver. J just talk about in terms of uh, that, having that cohesiveness, developing that uh, chemistry, you know, said, uh, especially, you know, with the rest of your teammates. Yes, sir. And frankly, when we run, it's a slot T, so we run the ball a lot. So I'm right there with the o line in every play. I mean, I'm blocking 90, 95% of the time. And then when I do go out for a pass, I mean, it's got to be – it's just got to be great timing between me and the quarterback. And, I mean, the, we have great backs. I mean, all we got to do – we make a little hole when it's a touchdown. I mean, it doesn't take much. Yeah. Yeah, I think people tend to forget, you know, with the tight end position, it's just not about catching the ball. You got to block as well. I mean, uh, talk about how you've been able to, you know, in terms of – your uh, technique, you know, getting those uh, fundamentals down pat, you know, here in the first two years at Franklin High School, uh, Braden. Yes, sir. Coach Brewer is our offensive line coach. You know, he works with us every day with technique, every day. For our hand placement from our feet to, I mean, just all around being a good blocker. And, I mean, he's helped me develop a lot in these first two years. That's wonderful. That's great. Hey, I wanted to ask you, putting that number three uh, Lions jersey on, uh, what has that represented to you personally here in the first two years? I mean, growing up, I looked up to my older brother, who was an offensive lineman at Franklin when I was little. And then uh, Casey Phillips, he, he was a tight end at Franklin. He went on to play at Baylor. I mean, I looked up to him a lot. And, I mean, it just means a lot getting to put on that jersey every Friday night and go out there in front of the hometown. Yeah, no, that's great. Hey, let's uh, talk about uh, home games at Franklin High School, even the away games as well. But, uh, you know, Friday night lights we talk about, Saturday afternoons during the fall. Talk about um, just the lead up to game day practices, uh, watching film. And then once, you know, game day hits on that Friday or Saturday in terms of, uh, you know, that preparation. And, you know, in the locker room, those moments before you take the field. Just, just talk about the the entire, you know, atmosphere and scene, you know, leading up to that, uh, Braden? I mean, Monday through Wednesday, it's full blown. We're trying to make each other better. We're killing each other basically at practice, preparing for the game on Friday. Thursday and Friday, we slow it down a little bit, walkthroughs. And I mean, come Friday, it's it's time to go. And I mean, pregame speeches, Coach Fannin has given some of the best pregame speeches I've ever been a mm -hmm. part of. And I mean, it's just, 
he fires you up before we go out there on the field. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's great. Okay. Talk about that electricity at home games. I mean, of course we've, you know, it's well documented how big, you know, high school football is in Texas. <clears throat> Just talk about what those home games are. Student body, you know, I said you have parents, you have friends, uh, cheerleaders, band. I mean, it's just, it, it really, uh, just talk about being in that environment, you know, I said uh, either on a Friday night or Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I mean, when you come out the tunnel and there's one a thousand people sitting in the stands cheering you on, I mean, it's something else. Yeah. I mean, there's, and our student, our student section is always huge. That's, to me, that's a big part of our success is our student section. They're there. They're loud. Home games, away games. It doesn't matter. Yes, sir. That's great. Hey, you know, with those away games, you know, people just take us behind the, you know, behind the scenes moments in terms of, uh, you know, you're with your teammates, the coaching staff. I mean, you're going into hostile territory. Just talk about, you know, being, you know, getting on there, having that uh, right mindset, uh, being, you know, fixed and in the zone, knowing what the task at hand is you know, to get that W, uh, you know, just talk about those moments, you know, in the first two years here at Franklin High School, uh, Braden. I mean, it all starts with the bus ride over. You got to be focused from the time you get to, you get on the bus to the time the game's over. And once we get there, we have team meetings in the opposing locker room and you just, you got to lock in. And we go, we walk the field to fill out the, to fill the field out, see how it feels. And then, you know, it's go time after that. Come out onto the field and, I mean, you just got to be ready to go because you're in their territory. You got to go take what's yours. Yeah, no, I agree. Hey, I, if I have these numbers correct, you know, talking, coming off a state championship season, undefeated in 2021, is that correct, uh, Braden? Yes, sir. Yeah, 6-0 in the district, and then 2020, going back to that 12-3, and I think, in 6-0 in the district. So, because undefeated in the district, you know, these first two years, you're, you're what, you know, 28-3. and I mean, it's got to feel good to be part of that winning culture an environment, you know, knowing again, you know, the tremendous job that Coach Fanny and the rest of the coaching staff have done, but <clears throat> the players have bought in. It just seems like really from top to bottom, it's just like a well-oiled machine. Everybody knows what their assignment is, uh, Braden. Yes, sir. Coach Fanny came in and he took over a good program and turned it into a great program. I mean, he he hasn't missed a step since he got here. I mean, it's been great. I mean, he was the offensive coordinator for us for 10 years, and then he took went right into the head coaching job. And, I mean, and just like you said, everybody has bought in from day one. I mean, you look, 6.30 in the morning, we got kids in the weight room lifting before school, after school. I mean, it's just it's just a real not, it's just real nice to have that. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. That, that's a great segue that you just uh, 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 pointed out in terms of strength and conditioning. Because that's so important. That really sets the foundation, the base in terms of getting ready for a season. Because you know how grueling it is, how physical it is, the mental toll it takes. I had to ask in terms of not only with the team, but the individually for you. And then, of course, nutrition, watching film, mental health. There's so many components that go into it in terms of, you know, getting your body right for a, a season. Just talk about that, uh, Braden. I mean, we go through. These last two years, we've had 16-week seasons each year going all the way to the state championship my freshman and sophomore year. So, I mean, it's a long and it's an enduring process. We just got to we stay healthy. A big shout-out to our trainer, Miss Maddie Nelson. She's She's been great for us, mm -hmm. keeping us healthy. And, I mean, like you said, the nutrition part is very important. I mean, if you don't feed your body, you're just going to – I mean, you'll lose a lot of weight during the football season. you got to yeah. try to hold on as much as you can. And, I mean, yeah, it's just – it's it's a, it's a fight. From yeah. the start to the end. Exactly. No, that well, uh, that's that's a great point you made. Um, it, it just talk about again that you know being mentally you know locked in because you know I said, you know if you don't have that you know in addition to being you know physically fit as well, just talk about how you're able to you know stay in that uh, zone. You know, and basically you know uh, I said long season, sixteen weeks. You know, even further. Just talk about that. How you've been able to. Uh, really, you know, handle that, you know, as said so far, so, you know, the first two years here, uh, Braden. Yes, sir. I mean, football is a very physical sport, but to me, a bunch of it is mental. I mean, you got to be, I mean, from film sessions to studying the playbook to all that, mm -hmm. that's very mental stuff, part of the game. I mean, you just got to stay locked in for the whole season or you it will fall apart. Yeah. And again, our coach does a great job of keeping us all locked in. I mean, he's on us from day one to the end. 
Mm -hmm. That's terrific. That's great. Hey, I want to ask you, um, and you've been able to tap into this utilizing, you know, I said uh, the highlight videos, social media, Twitter, and place uh, again, you know, you think, you know, down long-term where this is going to lead to, you know, for you in terms of success with college, talk about how you've been able to, again, you know, I mean, we talk about huddle there, there are a number of highlight video uh, places out there, but Twitter is an excellent platform. Just talk about how you've been able to really capitalize on that, uh, uh, Braden. Yes, sir. To me, huddle and Twitter are very important. I mean, after every week's game, I'll go make a, a weekly highlight and then it goes right onto my Twitter. Yeah. And I think that gives me a lot of exposure and it's just, it's a great tool for all players in any sport. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, again, how, how gratifying is it knowing I mean, and had to ask you from the day one, you stepped onto that field and knowing that, you know, the family, you know, hierarchy and like, you know, tradition of Franklin high school and to see where you are now, I'm sure that you've been able to pass down your knowledge to those, uh, underclass and now the incoming freshman class uh talk about this uh again you know you still have two years left but the you know to <clears throat> almost have that sort of full circle here where you've you know started out just, just talk about that uh Braden. yes sir me coming in as a freshman i mean the upper classes were huge to my success i looked up to them they led the way i followed right behind them now i, I think it's my turn to do the same to the underclassmen yeah i mean I'll, i i need to step up as a leader and they, i need them to follow no, that's a, yeah. yeah, I agree. Hey, you play multi sports, as I said, uh, or multiple sports basketball, baseball, running track. Talk about how that really, again, staying in shape year round, how, you know, one sport can affect another sport in terms of, you know, uh, uh, your body and just being able to, you know, again, uh, have that agility, that flexibility, you know, said uh, in terms of playing the sport. Talk about how those sports have really, you know, sort of boosted you in terms of your success on the football field? I mean, at a, at a small school like Franklin, I think it's good to stay active. I think it's good to have something to do all year round, keep you in shape so you're not – at at this age, you don't need off time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you should stay active all year round. And I think, like basketball, helps with my footwork, baseball, hand-eye coordination, track, speed, agility. Yes, sir. That's great. That's great. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Uh, I had to ask you, uh, is it, uh, it, it takes a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication, you know, so you've done that Of course, you know, uh, so evident with football, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, you know, with those sports, it, you know, cause you're going from one sport to another and in terms of, as you said, there's no time off for you. I'm just wondering how, again, how you're able to like, really, again, uh, just keep it together. You're, you're just, again, there's just that, that adrenaline that's, there's that, you know, passion to play those other sports as well, uh, Braden? Oh, yeah. I attack baseball, basketball, track the same way I attack football. I mean, we're there to win, and that's that's the main goal to me. Practice every day. Practice how you play. Yeah. If you want to be good, you got to practice how you play. And, I mean, I just try to attack every game, every practice, like it's my last. That's great. Okay, we all know it's not it's just about being an athlete. It's being a student athlete. Braden, again, you've been able to bounce out effectively i mean 3.5 gpa talk about i mean it's, we all know how essential you know is said uh, uh performing in the classroom and you've performed again exceptionally just talk about that here in the first two years at franklin high school I mean, like it's student comes before athlete i mean the classroom's always first I and mean, then i i do my best in the classroom i study i take my test seriously i mean there's classrooms not just slack off time Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still – it's very important to to going to the next level. I mean, colleges won't accept you without a halfway decent GPA. Yeah. Yes, no, that, that's true. That's true. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, Franklin High School itself, uh, the support from, uh, you know, the student body. You, you talked about earlier about uh, the fans – the students at the games, but talk about within the school itself, uh, you know, uh, the administration, athletic department, Principal Russell White, and, you know uh, – uh, Coach Fanny is also the athletic director. So just talk about having that uh, structure in place, having that support, because, it, again, it's uh, so critical to have that, you know, as a student and also as an athlete. Uh, just talk about that, uh, Braden. Yes, sir. Franklin as a whole is a very tight-knit community. I mean, everyone stays together. And, I mean, it, 
our principal, we have a very good principal, very good teachers. I mean, every, you can go talk to them at any time. It's not like they, they will make time for you if you need it. And same thing with Coach Fannin. He's always there if you need it. He's one text away all the time. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's terrific. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, uh, Braden, uh, I know you, again, play, uh, you know, with three, four sports here. I'm just wondering uh, uh, what sports you played growing up and when you really knew that, I guess, football was your passion. And just to build on top of that, uh, what makes the game of football so special to play? Yes, sir. I mean, I've always played football, basketball, and baseball all, all through since I was little to now. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I've all, it's always been different with football. I always like the physical nature of the game. I just – I love I love contact. I love – I mean, I love going and, you know, physically uh, making a – I mean, it, it is a great feeling when you can make it – make your opponent bow down. I mean, <laughs> make it quit. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, sir. Nothing <laughs> okay. Um, hey, I had to ask you about um, uh, last season, and I was watching some of the highlights. That um, uh, did you guys uh, play at AT and T Stadium? Yes, sir. My freshman oh. and sophomore year. Oh my god! So t- talk about that. You know, playing you know at the home of the Dallas Cowboys. You know, a football seat, hundred thousand. You know, that can seat a hundred thousand plus fans. And to ha- I mean, that's just. I mean. You know, of course, here in New Jersey, I mean, we have MetLife Stadium, but talk, talk about it's entirely different down there in Texas at AT&T Stadium. So talk about, you know, playing there and just coming out of the tunnel and, you know, onto the field. Talk about that and then playing there as well. I mean, as soon as you walk out, the lights just hit you. I mean, yeah. the stadium, it's massive. Yeah, It's way different from sitting in the stands and walking out on the field. Yeah. I mean, that was a big thing Our my freshman year was we had to get used to the atmosphere to get the game going. And then. Mm-hmm. Coming in this last year, a bunch of us have already played there, so it was, it was a little bit easier, and and uh, we we went in there and we got the job done. But it, I mean, it is a sweet feeling playing on that field. Oh yeah, no, no doubt about it. So I'm wondering, like you know, uh, if you know offhand or like you know, just uh, estimating how many fans you know you you got here in the first two years, you know, playing there at AT and T Stadium, uh, Braden. Um, I think we had six or seven thousand okay. at our state okay. game this year. Okay, so, I mean All that's right. quite. Franklin doesn't have but fifteen hundred people. Yeah. So I mean, yes, so it's a, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, uh, we talk about you know family. Uh, you said you have two brothers. One is a twin. I want to ask you, fam, you know, support from you know parents and just extended family. Um, they said one of your twins was your twin was on the football team. Other uh, plays, I think you said college ball. I think it's the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Just talk about the support from them, what they've meant to you in terms of your journey here um, at Franklin High School. Yes, sir. I mean, every, every Friday, I mean, every Friday night, I'm playing alongside my twin brother. I mean, he's there. He plays defense. He plays linebacker for us. Okay. And then my parents and my older brother are in the stands every week. I mean, from parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles. And it's the same for everybody on our team. All yeah. the family shows up. And it, it's big. It's a huge support. Yeah, no, that's special. That, that's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> As we all know, you have to de-stress. You got to, you know, it said you're you're going at 100 miles per hour, you know, in terms of playing these sports. You, you have hobbies. You love hunting and fishing. Talk about how, it, you know, just being able to relax, kick back. And know that, you know, you can find an outlet, you know, when, I mean, because again, you're putting so much effort uh, into those sports. Just talk about how, you know, in those moments you're able to, you know, sort of cool down and just, you know, you know, take your mind off uh, things. So just talk about that, Braden. I mean, hunting and fishing to me are very peaceful. I mean, you can just go sit at a pond or a lake and just have a line in the water. Mm-hmm. And I mean, just sit there and enjoy nature. And same thing sitting in the deer stand. I mean, it's just real peaceful. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a good, it's a good relaxing thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's great. Okay. Just a couple more left. Uh, Brandon can't thank you enough for the time. So I'm wondering when oh, it yeah. comes to uh, whether watching college or NFL uh, football, uh, any particular players that you uh, pay attention to, uh, especially that, that tight end position and that sort of me try to take away some uh, tendencies, tidbits, nuggets that, you know, you can sort of apply to your game. Uh, I love George Kittle from the San Francisco 49ers. He's a very physical tight end. I mean, he just, he plays the game the right way. And he's a guy I really like watching. That's cool. That's great. Okay. um, Before you get the last word, uh, Brandon, I think, again, you're in a, uh, just a great position to, you know, offer advice and, you know, 
a message to, to the younger uh, kids and athletes out there, because you know how difficult it is to move up the ladder and navigate these warriors. So much, you know, pressure on, you know, kids these days, again, at early age to, uh, again, excel. What, I mean, what would you say to them in terms of playing sports? And then, you know, again, when it comes to academics as well, uh, just, just what would you say to them, you know, if they, they watch this interview? I mean, always student comes before athlete. I mean, I'll say that again, always classroom comes first. And when it, and at a young age, when it comes to sports, I mean, just have fun, just enjoy, enjoy the time you have playing the sports you love. And I mean, just, just go out there and have fun. Yeah. No, that, that, you know, said, uh, that's a uh, good word said, you know, you have for them. Okay. Uh, Brady, get the final message here uh, for family, friends, classmates, teammates, coaches, uh, you know, Franklin High School and the community of Franklin, Texas as well. Uh, you know, you get the floor here, uh, Braden. Yeah, I mean, I just I appreciate everything that everybody in the whole town of Franklin, the school system, the athletic system, everything. I mean, these first two years have been great, and I'm looking forward to, for the next two. Yes. Sounds good. Hey, Brandon, uh, just an incredible opportunity to interview you. Uh, you know, so congrats on your success here the first two years, uh, both academically and athletically, especially on the varsity football team at Franklin High School. And, you know, looking forward to seeing uh, what you accomplish uh, here in your next two years, especially your junior year uh, this upcoming fall. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.